Brookside Victoria Railway Station shattered glass, the result of five pounds of high explosives, a bomb left in a waste paper basket. Commuters ran for cover, dropping their belongings as they fled. It's believed the man who died was standing near to where this bicycle was abandoned. The police were already searching the station and within three minutes ambulances had arrived to begin taking away the injured. It was also, as no doubt the bombers intended, an attack which created chaos and fear among half a million commuters. Railways continue to remain a tempting target for terrorists, seeking to gain publicity for their cause by whatever means, including fear, destruction and death. It's something they've always had to live with and still do. The bombers have not gone away. And they know that while a bomb in a shopping centre might affect hundreds of people, disruptions of rail services can affect hundreds of thousands. But your vigilance means that potential bombers have to be continually on their guard because more than anything else, they do not want to be caught and they do not want their bomb to be discovered before it explodes. Stations like this one are now being designed to reduce the number of possible hiding places for a bomb. And CCTV cameras dramatically increase the risk of terrorists being identified and later convicted. And this fear of failure is in itself a significant deterrent. Over four million people travel by rail every working day. So it's hardly surprising that there's so much discarded rubbish and lost property around. In fact, an astonishing quarter of a million items of lost property are collected every year. Making passengers aware of these problems does help to reduce that amount. And it also means that items left unattended are usually reported more quickly. And this in turn makes it more difficult for bombs to be placed in the open. Obviously you can't treat every unattended item as a bomb. But equally obviously it would be unwise to pick up items without first considering all of the possibilities. The purpose of this video is to give you enough information to help you make the right decision in every situation. This is a typical everyday occurrence and the member of staff treats it as lost property rather than a bomb for three very good reasons. One, it's not been hidden. Two, it's not obviously suspicious. And three, it's typical of its location. Since the early 90s, there have been no recorded instances of an item with those characteristics being a bomb, and the member of staff was therefore quite right to treat it as lost property. But the next example is not so straightforward. Here, the bag is not where people normally leave their belongings. And even more importantly, it's not in clear view. On the other hand, it is in a very public location. And whoever left it there ran the risk of being seen by someone, which is the last thing any terrorist wants. In this example, Whilst the bag is partially hidden, it's not obviously suspicious. And it is typical of what is regularly discovered. So again, based on a hot assessment, the bag is ultimately dealt with by staff. But what about the next example? As before, the item has been placed where it would not be immediately visible. And this time, whoever left it could have done so without being seen. It's not an obvious bomb, but it must still be treated with caution. On closer inspection, it does appear to contain something bulky, although the contents aren't visible. It could be treated as lost property, but it's not easy to do so with confidence. Because of this, control has been informed and police assistance has been requested. It's important not to use your radio until you've moved well away from the item so that if it really is a bomb, the signal from your radio doesn't accidentally set it off. But don't turn your radio off in case others need to contact you. As soon as possible, any passengers and other members of staff should be moved to a position out of the line of sight of the item. 
specially trained police officers were able to establish that the bag was indeed harmless and had simply been abandoned or thrown away. In this example, it was hidden, it was obviously unusual, if not actually suspicious, and most certainly not typical of most lost property. If this item had been discovered after a categorised bomb threat, it's likely that a full station evacuation would have been recommended. So again, in this case, the member of staff acted extremely wisely. We know that stations no longer are easy targets for terrorists and that explosions are thankfully an increasingly rare occurrence. But the possibility of a surprise attack cannot be ruled out. So you should always be conscious of a threat, even during lulls in terrorist activity. At first sight, this may not appear to be an obvious terrorist bomb, possibly only minutes from exploding. But on closer inspection, it's quite clear that it's been placed in such a way and in such a location that whoever placed it would probably not have been seen. It's hidden. It appears to be secured with adhesive tape. Batteries and wires are visible. It is obviously suspicious. Whatever it is, it is most certainly not typical of lost property. In this situation, it's important not to panic, but speed is also important. So quickly move yourself and anyone nearby out of the line of sight and try to avoid areas near parked cars or surrounded by glass. And if possible, prevent anyone from re-entering the danger area. Now, once you consider yourself to be safe from the device and other possible bombs, inform your control, who will then request immediate police assistance. Then, stop and collect your thoughts. If you're sure that you're in a safe location, prepare two sketches, one of the item and one of the route to its location. When the police arrive, they may well decide to examine what you found for themselves. In any case, they'll still require the answers to these questions. What is it? What size is it? What does it look like? Where is it? What is the best access route? Are there any obstacles or hazards? When you first noticed it, Remember, the police will want to talk to you and anyone else who may have seen the item or anything else suspicious. The better prepared you are, the safer you will be. And in any case, if this information is immediately to hand, it's more likely that the bomb disposal team will be able to prevent an explosion. So, to summarize what we've learned from other terrorist incidents. Terrorists are opportunists and they don't want to be caught. They leave bombs in public places, but where they cannot be observed and where the bomb is difficult to see. They can be deterred by the prospect of failure. They do make mistakes. By analyzing the thousands of previous alerts, we know that lost property tends to be discovered in public locations. So remember, to decide whether an item is more than just lost property, think of it as hot. If it's hidden, obviously suspicious, or not typical of its location. So if after closer inspection an item is not obviously suspicious, you should examine it further. If you're in any way unsure, move people away and alert your superior officer or a police officer immediately. If you believe the item is a bomb, start the evacuation procedure and prepare details for the police and bomb disposal teams. Don't stand near parked vehicles or glass and always be aware that there could be a threat from other bombs. While not easy to defeat the fanatical terrorist, it is possible to deter the opportunist bomber through carefully structured security procedures. The measures we've talked about in this video will reduce the opportunities open to terrorists by making them fear being caught, making them fear being convicted, and fear that their attack will fail. Then perhaps we'll all be able to travel in safety.